Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey, I'm out here working on this smoker, and I ran into some problems on it. So I'm fixing to take a break on it. I see what I need to do to fix it. And I'm fixing to take a break on this. I've been wanting to do a video on bending this uh, square tubing. So I'm going to show you how to do that right quick because I need this piece for an upcoming thing. But uh, let me show you what I did on this smoker and what I got to fix. It's these latches is what it is. One down there, one down there. After I, I'm trying to do a, a new door set up on these. On these uh, cabinet smokers, I, I was doing a solid door, just one big door. And I'm wanting to do a new setup on them. So I'm trying to figure it out as I go. And I figured out pretty quick that this needs to move, both of them. They need to move down about right there. So, and then I'm gonna put some on that side too. But those need to move and that's a problem because now I have to cut these off on both sides, weld that hole up. Cut it off on this side, weld the hole up. Gotta weld it a little at a time because it's already gaskets on it. So you don't want to burn those gaskets up welding. But anyway, it's gonna be a pain. I'm gonna lose a whole day having to redo all that. But then luckily last night when I put them on, I didn't weld the hinges all the way. So at least all I have to do is cut a couple tacks to get the hinges off and get the doors back off of there. So I got lucky on that part. But anyway, what we're gonna do is bend a piece of square tubing. I did a little piece of three quarter inch to kind of give you an idea of what was going on. But we're gonna round it off and typically the more you see how you can still see the squares on the end typically the more of these that you put in there the rounder you would get you know this is a it's kind of a pain because you're gonna have to weld these you're gonna have to clean all those welds back off so the bigger the piece you do and the more notches you have in it the more welding and cleaning you're gonna have to do but sometimes you need a rounded piece sometimes you just want it and i mean this is a way to do it so what we got right here is a piece of cardboard. We're gonna do it on a piece of inch and a half tubing. And uh, I needed about 20 inches <clears throat> diameter. So what I did, I took me a scribe, put a pin in the end of it, and just made me a mark. Come out, this is about 20 and an eighth. Don't pay any attention to that first line if you can see it. I just drew it too small and went out as far as I could to the next one. So that first line is irrelevant. But, uh, <clears throat> This is the shape that I pretty much need right here. It's just gonna be the end of a table. So I made my mark right there. What we need to do now is find the center between this mark and this mark. Once we find that center, we'll draw a line right there. Then we'll find center again, draw another line, another line, and keep going. Cause we're gonna need a few of these notches on both sides. We'll do it all over and get all that drawn out and then we'll cut this cardboard out with scissors. All right, now that we got those lines drawn out, you can do more lines than that in between each one because this is gonna leave a, a pretty big section to be square. I mean, this is the tubing. So setting it up there, you can kind of imagine. But for what I'm using it for, it's really not gonna matter. And I think it'll look okay like that anyway. But you can keep going more lines. But if you think about it, that's each one of those lines is another notch you gotta cut out. Another weld you gotta do, another uh, cleanup you have to do. So it's good to keep that in mind. So now if you use Describer or a compass of some sort, you can set, I put me some marks there already. You can uh, set it to the thickness or the width of your tubing. This is inch and a half. So I just set it an inch and a half lower. We're gonna make another mark. If you didn't, if you just traced around something, you can take your tubing 
and set it on your outside edge right there. Square with square with each line and then just make your mark on each one and kind of draw it around. But I'm just gonna use that compass to make my mark around there and then we'll start cutting the pieces out on it. All right, so this is what we got now. This is the part that you want. But a quick tip, if you think you might do this again sometime, then save this part, because you already have it lined out to do a smaller one. So I mean, if you had thought that you might, this might be something you do, save that, because you already have it. You won't have to draw it out again. So anyway, this is the part we want. What we're gonna do now is cut these lines. And that's really a good reason, I just thought, <laughs> I didn't realize that before. I could have used that and said I did it on purpose. But that extra line I had on there, that's where we're gonna cut to. Cause you have to cut all the way to that edge. You're gonna try to spread it open once you have uh, have all these lines cut. So if you think about it and have us doing it with a compass, go ahead and put your extra line on there. That'll just show you where to stop it every time. So anyway, we'll cut those out and then try to get it marked up on the tube. All right, you can see what I did. I stretched it out and got it as straight as I could across the tubing. It's still gonna have a little wave at the top because it was round, but you just get those as even as you can. And then you're gonna come back, use a square, transfer all your marks, transfer this point all the way to your side right there, and then transfer your marks all the way around. If I just use spray glue to stick that on there real quick. And uh, if you pull it right back off before it dries, you can usually save it to do another one if you want to. But right now we'll transfer those marks around and then we'll start cutting them all out with the grinder. Right, y'all that's bent over into shape it can still be bent a little tighter because you're gonna have to weld all these up i'm not gonna weld it now because it's raining out here now and i got too much stuff on the table inside there but yeah when you get ready to weld it i'll pull these ends in and that'll tighten it up and then just squeeze kind of squeeze this end together and it'll pull that in tight to get the weld the gaps tighter but that's pretty much it this is done with a, um, I drew out a 20 inch circle. This comes to about 26. Now the tighter you, the more of these notches you put in here, which I mean, those are big enough. You could have still done two more notches inside there. And that's probably what it would have took to get it down to 20. So if you're going for a certain number, it's going to be kind of hard to figure it out just right to get to that number. But after doing a couple of them, you should be able to get it together. For me, it don't matter. All I'm doing is building another little table like this to roll stuff around on. I mean, roll chambers and fire boxes and stuff around on. That's all I'm doing. So the 26 comes out fine for me. That's just going to be the end, kind of a handle end on that table. So anyway, 
that'll do it on this one uh this is gonna come up i'm gonna do a video on that table too uh i really wanted to do that a couple weeks ago i just hadn't done it yet but anyway that's just a quick video on how to do that like i say the more notches you put in it the tighter you're gonna be able to get it the more round this is how it looks on the other end i mean you can still see the square pieces there but it's it's not hurting anything i mean depending on what you're doing what i'm doing it's not hurting nothing Just being that matter now, welding it up and cleaning all those uh, welds back out. Which won't be that bad if you get the if you get the gap tightened up, and get your heat down right. Won't be too bad. And if you need to adjust it some, squeeze those uh, squeeze your ends together to where your gaps are tight, and then you can run that cutting blade through them again just to widen them a little bit. Squeeze that together, see if it's where you want it. If not, do it again. I mean. You are using cardboard or paper to do this, so your cuts can get a little bit off. So anyway, man, if you're new to the channel, please like, subscribe, and y'all come back for the next one. I got to get back on this smoker in here and fix these doors. I done put it off long enough. We'll see y'all on the next one.